I've found yoga a go-to for when I don't feel so great in my belly. Um, and so I wanted to kind of share some of the moves that I find the most helpful. You don't need anything, nothing, nada, niente, apart from your lovely selves. Um, so I'll see you on the mat. So today we're gonna to start on our back. So just gently make your way onto your back and can you bring your knees into the chest? And you might send your forehead up quickly just to have a little squeeze, bring the forehead up to meet the knees. And then can you lay yourself back down but keep these knees hugged in? You might close down your eyes for a minute. Can you take some really deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth? in through the nose and out through the mouth in through the nose and send it out through the mouth and we'll just keep here taking some long breaths maybe not so deep as those first couple but just continuing to breathe a little deeper while we hug the knees in. This pose in Sanskrit is called Apanasana, which translates as, you ready for it? Wind relieving pose. <laughs> so you might be able to guess why I've decided to start here for today. I find it, so a lot of this class is gonna be based on kind of my own personal experience. Um, I suffer from IBS um, and it's one of the reasons why I found, so, found yoga so beneficial um, when I first kind of discovered yoga. Is that I was experiencing a lot of bloating, a lot of discomfort in my belly um, and a lot of kind of exercise where I was up and about, I felt uncomfortable um, and yoga really helped. So um, I'm hoping that you can get something out of this too if you're in a similar situation. I'm gonna bring a hand to each knee and then can you start to draw some circles? So taking the knees apart and then back together. So finding a little kind of massage for the lower back. And also a little bit of a massage for the belly when the knees come in towards you. And then take it back the other way, keeping these circles slow. Really taking your time here. We're gonna move slow today. We're gonna keep kind of low to the floor and close into the body. And then the next time the knees come together, we're gonna leave them there. Now we're gonna rock and roll up to all fours. If you'd rather come onto one side and bring yourself up to a seat, or come with me, let's take a couple of rocks and rolls up, and then come all the way over, two hands and knees, all fours. And let's start with a cat cow, spread those fingers out, untuck those toes, inhale, drop the belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the head. Exhale, press the spine all the way up to the ceiling. Can you move slowly through these today? Inhaling to drop the belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the head. Exhale, pressing through those hands, curving the spine up towards the ceiling. Take one more each way, inhaling to drop that belly, lift the chest. Exhaling to press the spine up towards the ceiling. And then I'm just gonna ask you to come through to a seat here, a Sukhasana, just a cross-legged seat. I find folds really helpful, um, especially because as well, when I'm bloated, I don't really like being up and out. I feel uncomfortable in my skin. Um, and so I find them kind of comforting as well from a, um, a kind of a mind. <laughs> type space as well. So we're just gonna gently crawl the hands forward. Can you press your bum back as you crawl these hands forward? Find a little fold here. Really kind of press back through the bum so that you're still securing your seat. You're not coming all the way up as you stretch forward and just stretch the hands as far as they wanna go. Take a deep breath here. As you exhale, can you sink a little deeper? 
and then start to walk your hands over to the right. And we're gonna keep walking them until this right hand comes next to your right knee to the floor. And then we're gonna peel this left arm up and over to find a side bend. So we're kind of lifted up through this right hand because our left shoulder is lifted. We're now not in a fold, we're opening up to the side. Take a deep breath here. And then bring your left hand, so that hand above you, to your right knee. Right fingertips come behind you, find a twist. Lovely, rolling that right shoulder back, but keeping it gentle. We're just beginning. Sitting up nice and tall. Lovely. And then gently take this right hand back out to the side. Can you find that side bend again? So left hand overhead, going back the way we came. And then gently release that left hand down, walk both hands back out in front of you. And then tuck chin into chest as you slowly roll yourself back up to center. Nice, now just take the other leg in front of your cross. Yeah, so it probably feels a little strange at first. And then let's start to walk our hands back out in front. We're gonna take it to the other side. So remember, press back through the bum. You're hinging yourself over, walking those hands out in front of you as you find a fold. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, sink yourself down a little deeper. And then look up towards your fingers, gently start to walk them over to the left. Keeping walking them until your left hand is beside your left knee and then peeling that right arm up and over, finding that side bend, rolling right shoulder back, maybe looking up to that top arm. Nice, take a deep breath here. And then bring that top hand, that right hand, to the outside of your left knee, your left thigh. Left fingertips come behind you as you twist to the side. Sitting up nice and tall, keeping it gentle. We're gonna have lots of opportunities for twists through this. Because again, I find it offers loads of comfort to my belly to move it in kind of different ways. So you'll have plenty of opportunity. Keep it gentle here. And then we're gonna bring that left hand back beside the left knee, reach the right arm over. We're coming back the way we came. And then lowering the right hand down, walking both hands out in front of you. Finding that fold, maybe stretching out those fingers. And then walking your hands back towards you, tucking your chin, rolling yourself back up. Nice, we're gonna come back onto all fours. So bring those hands back underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, and let's twist the body a little bit. We're gonna rise our right arm all the way up, reach it high, stretch out those fingers. And then we're gonna take that right hand underneath the left arm. So your right shoulder is coming down to the mat as you find a thread the needle pose here. And you might walk your left fingertips out in front of you. So you might stretch through that left hand side. Can you press down into the right hand side of the lower body? So you're pressing over to the right and then peel your head underneath that armpit. So you're twisting your body. Take one more breath here. And then if that left hand is stretched, bring it back beside your cheek. And then we're gonna wind this right arm all the way up. One last stretch. And then place the hand down. All right, so let's do it on the other side. So lift that left arm, reach it up. Oh, glorious stretch. And then feed left arm all the way under right to find your thread the needle on this side. The weight's coming into that shoulder, so there's a bit of weight in the head in terms of your head's making contact with the ground, but it's your shoulder um, that's really holding you up. You might stretch that right arm out in front of you. 
Nice. So we're kind of anchoring the bottom of the body over to the left and then the top of the body is twisting over to the right. Nice. Take a deep breath here. <laughs> and then if that right hand is extended, bring it back beside your face and lift that left arm all the way up to the ceiling and then pop it down. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a kind of flow quite close to the ground. So we're going to start with a cat cow, but just for this cat cow, bring your hands a little in front of your shoulders so they're not directly under your shoulders like we normally do. We're going to exhale, press the spine up towards the ceiling. So starting with that cat. Nice. And then inhale, drop the belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Lovely. Now, can you bring your chest and chin down to the mat? Keep that bottom up in the air and then slide yourself through onto your belly. Lovely. As we inhale, rise to find a cobra. Keeping it as small as you like, pressing that belly down into the mat, rolling those shoulders back, pressing your hips down. It's finding a little stretch for the tummy, which I think feels really nice. Exhale, release it all the way down. And then as we inhale, we're gonna lift up to our knees, exhaling all the way back to child's pose. So just continue to send that bum back, reaching those arms out in front of you, releasing the forehead down towards the mat. Nice, so let's move through this again. So as we inhale, we're gonna come up to that all fours, but our hands a little bit in front of our shoulders, a bit wider than our normal one. We're gonna inhale, lower the belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Exhale, press the spine up to the ceiling. <laughs> Lovely, one more inhale here, lower the belly, roll the shoulders back. And then lower your chest and chin down to the mat, bum stays high, and then roll yourself through, inhaling to find a little lift with your cobra. Nice, exhale, take it all the way back to your child's pose. Lovely. As we inhale, let's come up to that all fours position. Exhale, press the spine up towards the ceiling, curve the back. Inhale, drop the belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Lower chest and chin, keep that bum up and then roll yourself through, inhaling to your cobra. And then send it all the way back to your child's pose. And you could bring your knees a little wider. We're gonna stay here for a couple more breaths than we have been doing. So anything that feels good. And this is another pose that I think feels great when your tummy's playing up or when things are not moving in the way that you want them to. It's kind of nice to be a bit more insular, right? And to be a bit more hidden. And it's a nice pressure with the knees, with the thighs onto the belly. So just take a couple of breaths here. And the great thing about this pose, your child's pose, is you can do it in like any outfit. Like it looks a bit weird, granted, if you're in the middle of the shops or <laughs> the street and you get down and do this. But like, it's very easy to do wherever with whatever clothes you've got on. Okay, now gently look up towards your fingers. Bring yourself up to all fours. Those hands are in front of the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips up. Downward facing dog. And let's take a couple of steps through the feet. So lowering each heel one at a time to the floor and then continue those steps all the way up to the top of the mat. Feet are hip width and dangle over your legs. And I'm gonna encourage you to kind of draw yourself in towards your thighs, your legs. So you can find a big old bend in the knees, but maybe you wrap yourself around or hold on to some part of your leg and fold yourself over here. Take a deep breath. And then tuck the chin into the chest, 
slowly let's rise all the way up to stand rolling the shoulders back when you get there and then just here make yourself kind of quite a big shape roll the shoulders back you might take the feet a little wider than your hips really opening up the chest and I just want us to take a couple of really deep breaths I find my belly is so connected to my head. <laughs> Times when digestion doesn't work is normally because I'm anxious, because things are going on. And we know that breath is a great tool to kind of bring us back in. So let's take some huge breaths while we're here, standing up in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. One more big breath like this. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And then start to tuck the chin into the chest. You might wiggle those feet so they're underneath your hips. And slowly, just as we came up, roll yourself back down to your forward fold. Nice. Inhale, lift your hands to your shins. Let's find a little lift of the chest. Press the bum back, roll those shoulders back. Find that flat back that you could rest something on. And then exhale to release it down. And we're just gonna step the right foot back. Bring the right knee to the earth. And I just want you to kind of drape yourself over this left thigh. So keeping the hands kind of dangling or maybe they come to the floor, maybe you make your legs a little wider, but really fold yourself over on this thigh. Just take a couple of breaths here. You might take some wiggles from side to side, backwards and forwards. Just allowing yourself to get heavy here. And then on your next inhale, can you find a little lift in the chest? And then exhale, we're just gonna straighten this leg. You might walk your hands back. If you've got blocks or anything um, here, but you don't need them, bring, bring your hands with you, bring them to wherever they reach. If they're hovering, that's cool. But find a fold here, lengthening that leg. And then let's inhale, bend the leg, maybe walk those hands back around the foot, reach the chest up and exhale to just lengthen again. One more time like this, inhaling to bend. Exhaling to straighten. And then let's bend that leg, lift the back knee, and we're gonna walk our hands over to the right hand side, twisting our feet so all 10 toes are facing the side of the mat. And we're in a wide legged fold here. So just make sure that your toes are in line with your heels or they're slightly in. Maybe your hands come to the mat, maybe they come to blocks, maybe they just swing here, but can you find a fold wherever you are? So maybe lowering the tip of the head down to the mat, maybe bringing the hips a little over the heels so you're kind of really rocking yourself forward slightly and find a nice fold. And then with your next inhale, can you lift up to your fingertips if your hand, hands are down to that like half lift again. So pressing the bum back, lifting the chest. And then we're just gonna walk over towards the back of our mat, towards that right foot and lower that left knee. And I just want you to drape yourself now over this right thigh. So we're coming into these stretches in our lunge on the other side. So maybe finding some movement, maybe lengthening those legs out or shortening the stance, trying to keep that knee stacked over the ankle. Just finding a bit of heaviness here, folding over this thigh. And then with your next inhale, can you find a little lift of the chest? Exhale to lengthen that leg. Those toes might peel off, your hands might walk back with you. You've still got a little lift in the chest, a little brightness. And let's walk the hands forward. Lift the chest. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. 
and then just bend your foot again and this time tuck your back toes lift that knee start to walk the hands back to the left so you're facing the side once more and you can either do what we did before so you can find a dangle here you could bring your legs a little wider anything that feels good or we're going to place our left hand kind of underneath our face down to the floor or to a block depending on what you've got right arm then lifts up to the side so we're finding a bit of a twist here you could wrap that right hand back behind your lower back kind of searching for that left thigh but we're trying to find a twist so we're rolling that right shoulder back as we twist lovely and then gently release that right hand put it where the left hand was and let's take it to the other side so right hand to the floor left arm lifts maybe wraps back around you find a twist here you're still folding forward and then gently releasing that left hand down and then let's walk our hands back towards the front of the mat and we're just going to step back to all fours and find a seat nice so a bit of movement some twists some folds some kind of nice slow movement we're now going to kind of focus back in on those twists again um, and on kind of really this belly area so take that right leg out long and then the left foot is going to come over that right thigh you try and make sure that foot is flat to the floor or as flat as possible and then our left arm is going to reach up and back and our right elbow comes around that knee and hugs it as we twist to the left can you keep that those right toes so that elongated leg can you keep them flexed and here's a chance to get a bit deeper into a twist this time so this knee is kind of nicely close to our belly so really hugging it in as you twist yourself around sitting up really nice and tall on the inhale and then exhale maybe you you take that tall length and you start to twist a little further so inhale really reach that spine long exhale twist let's take one more breath here deep inhale exhale twist and then gently come back to center we're going to move this leg so this left foot the sole of the foot comes to the inside of the right thigh we're now going to move into a fold so that right leg is straight out in front of you left knee out to the side reach the arms high send the bum back as you hinge and send this chest as far forward as you can finding a fold here you might hold on to that foot but kind of it might put extra pressure in your shoulders and you're already reaching and tensing so maybe bringing your hands to the floor and finding this fold concentrating on taking your body forward and down as you fold yourself over that leg release that left knee out to the side no need to kind of tense that up too deep breaths here take one more breath and then slowly walk your hands back towards you bringing yourself up and let's change the legs so left leg goes out long you might take a little wiggle in between right foot crosses over that thigh and remember that right foot is kind of completely to the floor so press that sole down to the floor you know reach the right arm up and back fingertips to the mat and then left elbow wraps hugs that right knee as we find the twist flex those left toes inhale really reach the body up exhale twist yeah opportunity to really hug this leg in and take this a bit deeper we've already been twisting today so now is the time inhale reach up exhale twist really hugging that knee in towards you 
Let's take two more deep breaths here. Be careful that you're not putting too much pressure into those right fingertips. So that's why I kind of encourage fingertips rather than hand, because you're twisting from the core rather than using this hand to kind of pull you around. Gently, let's come back to center. And then we're gonna bring that right sole of the foot to the inside of the left thigh. Open that right knee out to the side, left toes flexed, reach the arms high, really nice and tall. Send the bum back, reach that chest forward as you find a fold, hands around foot, but really trying to kind of not put any extra tension in. So can you see there, I'm really like, oh, bringing in a bit more, bringing your hands down, releasing them wherever onto the floor, reach that chest forward and down as you fold yourself. Deep breaths here. Let's take one more deep breath. Can you relax that jaw and that forehead? Yeah. And then gently bring yourself back up. Now bring the soles of the feet to the floor. Give yourself a little bit of space behind you. And you're gonna gently curve your spine as you lower yourself down. Take your time. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then bring your feet a bit closer to your bum. <laughs> My boyfriend asked me the other day when he was hearing me do yoga and making these noises, he was like, when you teach, you don't make these noises, do you? I was like, I absolutely do. <laughs> you can't stop the noises. You can't stop the, uh, oh yeah, the lovely noises. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> hands down to the floor. Make sure that you can kind of just about um, touch your heels. Press those hands down, knees are above uh, the ankles and then reach your hips high on an inhale. And we're just gonna move through this bridge pose with the breath. So exhale, release the hips back down. Inhale, reach up. So just finding some soft movement here. Exhale, reach it down. Inhale, peel yourself up. Exhale, peel it back down. And then this time, lift your hips and stay there. Pressing your hips high, almost feeling like your heels are dragging in towards your body. Yeah, maybe you snuggle your shoulders underneath and find a clasp so you get a little bit of an extra lift here. Yeah, one more breath. And then gently unravel those shoulders, roll yourself back down. And just bring the feet as wide as your mat. And we're just gonna sway the knees over to the right and then back to the left. As you're swaying, maybe bring your hands out to a cat a shape or a T shape depending on your space and then the next time that your knees come over to the right can you keep them there so leave them there as they twist or as your body starts to twist you could look over towards your left hand here and you could if you want a little bit of extra place that right foot on top of the left knee thigh to kind of add a little bit of extra twist in. Really let your shoulders relax down into the mat. Find this twist. And then gently, if you've got that right heel over the thigh, unhook it, bring the knees up to center and over to the left. Maybe looking over the right fingertips. Maybe if you did it on the other side, that left foot over the right thigh as you find the twist here. I remember when I first started doing a lot of yoga, hearing people talking about like twisting um, and like it's almost like wringing out your intestines and stuff and that's why it's so good for digestion. I've since read a lot of stuff that says that that's 
<laughs> not very accurate uh, and not scientifically true. Um, and I think more the like benefit for the digestive system and um, like how our bodies are managing to digest food is from the kind of mindfulness that yoga brings, this attention to breath and being in the present and calming the body down. Because a lot of us are running around crazily during the day, very chaotic, doing all sorts of busy things, lots and lots going on. And so our digestive system is probably echoing that, right? Panic, like what do I do here? Drinking lots of coffee and stimulants and what on earth is happening? And so giving ourselves the opportunity to calm down. As much as I think these twists do offer lovely things to the belly, I think that's the real benefit or that I've found for me. So gently unhook that left foot. If you had it hooked, bring the knees back up and let's end where we started in our Apanasana, bringing the knees in towards the chest, squeezing them in, maybe closing down the eyes, taking some deep breaths here. Can you press your lower back down into the ground? And then taking your legs out long, bringing your hands out and finding your final Shavasana, your final resting place, snuggling those shoulders underneath you and taking as long as you've got here. Find that breath. You can count your breath. You could just let yourself go. We're doing something good for you, having this rest and hopefully getting that digestive system <laughs> feeling good. Thanks so much for joining me. If you have any ideas for things that you'd love to see, share them with me and please do subscribe. Um, it makes me so happy. <laughs> I'll see you again on the mat next time.